Hello. Good morning all. So in my last video, we discussed about the integral and differential forms of Gauss law. Now, in this video, let us discuss the applications of Gauss law. The first application of Gauss law is electric field due to infinitely long charge distribution. Right? Infinitely long charge distribution. For that, let us consider, let us consider a line charge. Okay? Let us consider a infinite line charge on which charge is uniformly distributed. And this is having linear charge density, lambda. The linear charge density means charge per unit length. So, lambda equal to Q by L. So, Q equal to lambda L. Right? Now, our intention is to find electric field intensity at point P, which is at a distance R from this line charge. Right? Now, to find this, as this charge is uniformly distributed, or linearly distributed uniformly. Let us construct a Gaussian cylinder. I am constructing a Gaussian cylinder passing through this point P. A Gaussian cylinder we constructed here C. A Gaussian cylinder passing through the point P. Right? Now on this cylinder, first on these are curved surfaces and these are flat surfaces. Now around point P, I am assuming an area, a small area denoted by vector ds. Right? Now here vector ds means magnitude equivalent to that area. Okay, that elemental area. Direction will be along the outward normal drawn, drawn. The direction of ds will be along the outward normal drawn. And the direction of electric field will be outwards, positive charge. It will be outwards. Right? Now next, similarly, at the right end and the left end also, I am considering small areas. Okay. Now, this is the direction of electric field. Right. And these are the outward normal drones. Okay. So, the direction of ds. Right. Now, next, here, the angle between... E and ds is 90 degrees. Right? Now the angle here is 0 degrees. So first we have to write electric flux due to entire Gaussian cylinder. So, in case of the cylinders, how we will write the electric flux? The electric flux at the right end, right? Plus the electric flux at the left end, plus the electric flux due to curved surfaces. Right? Now, integral e dot ds is e ds cos theta right end plus left end e ds cos theta plus curved surfaces e ds cos theta. Right? So, now, right end left end 
angle is 90 degrees. EDS cos 90, right end. Integral left end EDS cos 90 plus integral for curved surfaces angle is 0 degrees, right? Because DS and E are in same direction, parallel to each other. Parallel means 0 degrees. So, 0 degrees. Here E and DS are perpendicular to each other. Perpendicular means 90 degrees. Now, value of cos 90? 0. 0 into something? 0. Now, cos 0, value of cos 0? 1. So, integral e dot ds. Here cos 90 0. Cos 0 value 1. Right? Now the electric flux due to entire Gaussian surface is integral e dot ds. Only due to curved surfaces. Only due to curved surfaces. Right? Now next here this can be written as phi is equal to, as charge is distributed uniformly, electric field will be also uniform. So, we will write this as E of integral ds, right? As electric field is uniform, it is constant, right? It will not change. So, only E integral ds. Now, next, this is equal to, what is integral ds? Nothing but area of cylinder. If L is the length of the cylinder, R is the radius of cylinder from its axis line. If we assume this charge line as axis of the cylinder, then R is the radius of the cylinder. Then the area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi RL. So, substituting this value, pi E is equal to E2 by Rn, right? Now, in my last class, we find that Gauss law means one. Electric flux over a closed surfaces placed in electric field is 1 by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed within the surface, right? This we call it as Gauss law. Now, let us substitute the Gauss law. Now, E 2 pi RL in place of pi E, I am substituting the Gauss law. Now, send this to the right end, right side, Q pi 2 pi epsilon naught RL I will write. Now, next here, what is Q? Q is nothing but lambda L, linear charge density, linear charge density, lambda. So, is equal to Q by L. So, Q equal to lambda into L, right? So, 2 pi epsilon naught RL. So, L L strikes off. So, electric field in density at point P, which is at a distance R from the line charge of infinite length, is lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r. If you want to write the notes, pause it. I just note down this. So, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, share it, subscribe it, like it. Thank you. Yours, Reshma Physics.